It's time for another tip in the Trumpet A to Z. This time it's B for breathing. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Alongside publishing our books of exercises for brass players, we're releasing a ton of videos with tips to help make brass playing easier for you. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you're notified of all of our videos. This video is part of the Trumpet A to Z series, following on from the last video we're dealing with another fundamental. This time it's B for breathing. Breathing should be the most natural part of playing a brass instrument. After all, it's something we all do all the time. However, it's the single thing that seems to hang everybody up the most. The biggest problem is that when we're playing an instrument, particularly in an ensemble, we're breathing on somebody else's schedule, so we tend to think about it. This can lead us to breathe in an unnatural manner, so we tend to need a method to get back on track. There are lots of methods of breathing out there, and there's an equal amount of misunderstanding and confusion on the subject. So here's my simple tip for taking a good breath, which I'll demonstrate so you can hopefully understand and be able to feel it out for yourself. Hang around afterwards and I'll also let you know how to improve your breath support. When we breathe in naturally while we're doing something physical, our abdominal area or belly doesn't significantly push out. Instead, we engage our core muscles and our chest actually raises up as our lungs inflate. This leaves us relaxed enough to move wherever we need to and make a smooth transition into the effort we're about to perform. That could be running, swimming, jumping, or playing a brass instrument. If this sounds like a lot to deal with, there's a simple visualization you can use to help you find this natural breath. I'd like you to think about a favorite sport you like to play or another physical activity with which you're familiar. In sports, in particular, there's usually a preparatory moment when you take a good breath. You could be waiting for the start a pistol at the beginning of a foot race. You could be about to dive into a swimming pool, something like that. I'm sure you can think of an example in your favorite sport. Placing ourselves there mentally can help trigger the automatic reflex to breathe naturally. Try it for yourself. Close your eyes and visualize yourself in that moment, and then breathe. You'll know if you've been successful, that is, that your core is engaged and your chest is raised up, because you'll feel pleasantly full of air, but you'll also be able to move in any direction. If you want to try it a few times, just pause the video and give it a go. Now, I want to make it clear that this is a relaxed breath, but it's important to remember that being relaxed doesn't mean that muscles aren't engaging. After all, this is basically the same way we breathe while we're sleeping, and you wouldn't claim that we're not relaxed then. It may feel a little awkward to begin with, particularly if you're accustomed to pushing your stomach out as you breathe to play. But after the first few tries, it shouldn't leave you feeling tense after you've filled up with air. Try breathing this way a few times to get the feel, and then grab your instrument and breathe to play. Also, remember what we talked about in the last video, A for air. If you didn't see it, it's linked in the cards above or in the description below. Even though your air supply probably feels stronger than it did before, we still don't need to blow a large quantity of air to play. That also means that we don't necessarily need to take a lot of air in. It really depends on how long of a phrase you want to play. Now, for improving breath support. There's a simple tweak you can make to your natural breath to really make your air supply last longer. As we breathe, our chest raises up, and the natural inclination is as the air supply diminishes or runs out for it to drop again. Instead, I want you to hold your chest up as you play. The extra engagement of your abdominal muscles makes it easier to control your air and keeps the air column more focused and solid, all the way to the end of your breath. It also gives you the foundation for generating extra air compression with your core, which is useful if you're going to be playing in the upper register for extended periods. But we'll talk about that in another video. I hope this is helpful and clears up some things about breathing. This is how I breathe when I play, and I happen to think it's the best way, but you may have something else you lean on. If so, leave a comment and let's discuss it. I'm always down to learn something new. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Airflow Music channel so you're notified of our other videos. If you have any questions about this video, again, leave a comment. I'll try to answer as quickly as possible.
I also have a question for you. This was video B in our alphabet, and I can't decide what video C should be about. Please comment with a topic beginning with the letter C. Better still, let me know what your entire trumpet alphabet looks like. I'm open to suggestions for the entire series. I'll see you soon. Now, go practice.